Hey, what's going on? We're out here testing the 72 inch Green Z autonomous demo machine that I got late last year. By the time that I got it last year, the grass had pretty much dried up. There wasn't really much left to mow. We did a couple of demos with some dry, kind of crisp grass and uh, gathered a little bit of information. However, uh, this will be the first full season that we get a chance to use this machine. Um, I wanted to make sure that the demo is good to go, the battery's not dead, you know, it's in, in good shape for us to actually take it out and do a demo with uh, this spring as soon as the grass really starts growing. Here in the Kansas City area, it's kind of dry, a little dusty. Um, every once in a while, we'll get a rain and that dust will turn into mud pretty fast, but it's still been too cold for the grass to really grow. Um, it's turning green, but it's just not warm enough consistently for us to start mowing it. It is pretty much the middle of March right now. Hopefully by the beginning of April, we'll be out mowing. So wanted to make sure that the 2.0 major software update from GreenZ had been installed properly. Uh, the cool thing is, is you can uh, reach out to GreenZ with the serial number of your machine, or if you know what the name that's been assigned to the machine actually is. Um, so I went ahead and called them today and said, Hey, can you check and make sure that when I restarted the machine that it downloaded the update, the updates, excuse me, and installed them correctly. And, uh, they said everything's good. However, there is, um, a delay in activating the cone recognition on this particular machine. Apparently there's been two different um, AI cameras or machine learning cameras that they physically installed on the machines. Uh, my particular demo unit that I'm using has a camera that may or may not be compatible. There's only a couple of machines that have that camera on them. I have a fairly early machine and they're doing a few more software, uh, tests before they roll out an update to my machine just to make sure that it's safe. And if it is great, that should roll out later this month. If it is not a successful series of tests that they run before they roll out that update, then they will physically replace the camera with the other model that they have used. Um, yeah, so we'll have to wait another two weeks or so before we get a chance to try the uh, cone test. I'm excited about that. Bought a couple of orange caution cones just to do some testing. Um, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll do another update. Also this year, we're hoping to put a set of dual wheels and tires like you see on some of the other 72 ZKs on this demo machine to see if it helps with stability on a hillside. Uh, a ZK normally does really well on a hillside. However, this machine, when it's running in remote control mode or autonomous mode, it doesn't have the weight of an operator over the tires. And that's still what this machine was physically designed to do. Like CBQ from Green Z would mention, this is an upfitted ZK. So it's a frame from a machine that was designed to be run with an operator on it that's been converted to an autonomous machine. So uh, it lacks the weight to take advantage of the tire traction. So we're hoping that additional tire traction will make a difference. Although there's a chance that the pivot point will change, meaning instead of pivoting on a set of tires, you're now pivoting on a set of four tires. I guess instead of pivoting on a set of two tires, you're pivoting on a set of four tires. And that pivot point may move out a little bit wider. And that may cause the turns to be a little bit off and the straps to be off. This may be something that I can convince CBQ to address in a software update in the future. Um, however, it may not be a big performance difference on a hillside. We won't really know until we get a chance to try. So looking forward to doing that this spring and then just enjoying this latest software update, the improved turns, um, eventually the cone recognition and the saved maps. Uh, that's awesome being able to roll up on a property and pull up a map from a previous time and just put the machine within that map space and hit go uh, not worry about having to um, redraw a map every time you're out of properties it's, it's a wonderful feature so much to look forward to in some upcoming videos this season really looking forward to getting mowing hope you guys are see you soon